Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now, last night there was another Warriors Den live stream and it is going to be quite a short one because we do know pretty much all the information that was there. But there's a few little things that did happen which I do need to talk about because it's pretty serious and it involves the entire community and of course the developers. So we're going to be going over that whole drama thing there and there is also something i need to touch on there as well in terms of you know the developers and what's been going on with them but before we dive into all that drama let's first of all get into all the news so the open test for marching fire is now live so you can jump on on pc and steam and you can download it they said on the den last night that it is live on steam now so yeah just jump on Uplay, play jump on steam download the marching fire open i think it's marching fire breach open test look for that download it and then you can jump in you can play the four brand new willing heroes you can play all the other heroes and you get to play breach and honestly first impressions it's all pretty goddamn good the heroes i'm a bit like all over the place with i'm i'm gonna be doing more in-depth videos about this i don't want to go into the detail here but yeah, I will be doing that later on. So far though, I'm having a good time with it. It's going to be fun. But yeah, if you have access to a PC or you own one, jump on and trust me, play it because you're going to enjoy it. And it also gives you a taste of what's coming October 16th when Marching Fire drops. Now keep in mind as well, there is no training mode. They've disabled that in the open test, which I was a little bummed out about. So you're going to have to test out the brand new heroes in the actual breach mode, fighting against other people or of course AI. So it's a harsh learning curve because some people have gotten in before you and you know, you just rock up and you're trying to work out the moveset looking at it and it's just it's a clusterfuck at the start but you'll get there in the end now also keep in mind that the shaolin got nerfed to shit okay from from videos and stuff i saw when they first showed him to now they did do a nerf pass on him same with i think the tiandi got some changes as well tiandi still seems fine i've had no issues with tiandi in fact he's pretty goddamn strong but the shaolin i just <laughs> He's uh, just uh, not really that great, uh, at least from, I'm going to say this now, but yeah, he's not really that great from what I've seen. He does okay when you actually manage to pull off some goddamn moves. Oh, he flows so well. He's brilliant. But the problem is actually getting to do stuff because Nuxia's, Nuxia's, fa fuck, Nuxia is fast. I gotta stop calling him Nuxia. Nuxia is fast. Uh, Tiandi is uh, pretty damn good because he has all the mix-ups and everything. Jiang Jung's an absolute fucking beast. I love that guy. And Shaolin, with his uh, recent nerfs or something, seems to be uh, quite below the rest. But I will talk about all that in my future videos coming in the next couple days. Next up, we have the content of the week, and it is um, mushrooms. So uh, we have uh, mushrooms that grow out of your body. And there's different types of mushrooms depending on the, uh, uh, the faction you are. So that's going to be playing in the background. Mushrooms. That's where we are. That's that, 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 that's, that's our life right now. Mushrooms. The crystals to begin with, the red crystals and stuff, that was cool. Mushrooms, I don't know, guys. We've had flowers, mushrooms. I don't know what they're doing, but hey, if someone likes the, like shrooms, they can go ahead and do that. Maybe it's best on shaman. I don't know. Please tell me someone got that please so as far as news goes with the other stuff that's pretty much it okay so you have the open test you have the brand new heroes you have breach mode which you can play it's on you play it's on steam you also have the mushrooms the goddamn mushrooms and that was all the core news uh in terms of that and now we're going to be going over some of the bigger stuff okay so the developers recently they decided to put in this uh dynamic uh voice system so what they were going for was in beforehand you know your characters would only really speak when uh, they would do a special move. So the unblockables and all that sort of stuff is only when they would talk or when they're getting picked up because they're dead, stuff like that. Now what the devs want to do, they want to put more interactions in the game, which all of this is fucking perfect. It all sounds really, really good. So basically if a warlord is versing someone and they have like a little nemesis thing there, he'll say certain things to the other character. Same with say a Nabushi and a warden, they'll say certain things to each other, which I really like that. That's a cool change. I don't mind it. But now's when the issues start coming in because what they had to do in order to of course add all these additional voice lines they had to go ahead and hire brand new voice actors now they hired these brand new voice actors because obviously it's been a couple of years since they did the first voice acting so those voice actors are normally gone and they're off doing stuff so they want to hire some brand new voice actors 
some guys who were and girls who are more permanent who they can call upon in the future to do more voice lines and everything which makes complete sense and i don't fault them for that whatsoever obviously they need people who are going to be around all the time in case they need to add stuff in later on on the drop of a dime you know if you want to hire some guy who's one of the japanese actors and he's in japan it's going to be an absolute mess ringing him up and going hey remember us from two years ago we want you to come back in and then do all that it's a mess so hiring people close by who can come in at the drop of a dime that's better so the first issue is that the voice actors have changed and of course they're worse i there's no way around it some of them are the same voice actors like um uh, stefan the guy who's on the den sometimes his wife does the raider the female raider and then you have uh the guy who does the the conqueror with his raz that's the same dude who did the new voice lines i don't know how they recorded it or why it's different but it doesn't sound the same that could just be a quality thing uh because it's early in development or something i'm hoping that's the case but the, the for me personally all the voice lines just sound way worse than the original ones the original ones sound gritty polished they sound awesome the brand new voice lines there's no other way around it they sound shit compared to what we had and there's also another issue here and that is the fact that now that they've had all everyone to basically speaks in english now roman uh, on the warriors den and we'll talk about him in a minute because there's some big news surrounding him and something i need to say but he said for the most part when you know you're versing an enemy okay they speak in their native tongue their native language but then when they're on your team everyone speak in english and he said it doesn't really make sense when you got two samurai guys a viking guy and a knight guy and they're all speaking english which wouldn't really make sense because obviously they'd be speaking a different language so they said that they want to go ahead and just make everyone speak English because one it's easier from a production standpoint That makes complete sense because if you have a Japanese guy, okay So the Orochi you need to hire the guy to speak the Japanese you need to hire the guy to speak English That's two times you have to record the same thing. That's double the time in the studio double the cost so on so forth So that part don't fault them that makes complete sense but everyone speaking English, which sort of is, once again, it's uh, fine in my opinion. I really don't mind. I'm focusing on the gameplay, having fun, that sort of stuff. But in the same breath, I can see why people are angry because we went from having, you know, English and different languages to now having just English and, it, you know, takes something away from the game. And that's the big takeaway here that I can see. The brand new voices, I can see why they did it. I can appreciate why they did it. I can understand that they want to add more voices and more stuff in. All of that is perfectly fine. I understand. But once again, the equality of them is shit compared to the original. So it takes something away from the game. That really didn't need to be taken away from because no one was complaining about the voice lines. No one. No, I didn't see anyone go, these need a tune-up. These need to be different, so on and so forth. Everyone was fine with them. So it was an issue that no one had a problem with that now they've had to change for good reasons. But by changing them for those good reasons, the quality hasn't kept up. And because the quality hasn't kept up, now everyone's angry and they want the old voices back. And it's the same with the whole language thing. Once again, they... They changed it for good reasons okay because it takes too much to do all that but no matter which way you slice it we went from having more so we had you know foreign languages and when you're on the same team english to now having and when you do your special moves of course whatever you so if you're a raider and you have a samurai on the same team you both do an unblockable you're gonna say it in your native language that's fine but we still went from having two to now only having one which is you know once again it's a difference it's a change and it's something that no one really asked for and it's something no one was really complaining about now i do not know the devs watch my videos i don't know if anyone from ubisoft watches my videos but what i'm going to say is from me personally okay to give some constructive criticism and feedback i understand fully why you had to do what you had to do and i'm completely on board with it as long as the quality of the brand new voice actors okay the actual sound of it is on par or better with what we had before Warden, perfect example. The old Warden sounded great. New Warden sounds like a 16-year-old kid. Just have to throw it out there, okay? He doesn't sound like the, the old Warden was like, Mizanu, like really all gruff, like he's a warrior, he's killing people. And then you have the brand new Warden who's like, Mizanu, like it's, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. And yes, I'm going to have lots of people laughing at my 16-year-old uh, Warden impression, I know. But I love the direction that you guys are going with, with trying to add more interactions between the characters, more voices, give more personality to them. All that is perfectly fine. The quality of the voice actors though just needs to be the same as before if you brought out all these brand new voice actors and they sounded quality wise as good and as gruff as the other ones no one would be having an issue right now okay there would be no issues 
It's only because they sound so different and not in a good way. Not like you've changed voice actors so the accent's a little different. No, it's they just sound worse compared to what we had before. So as long as you get the sound quality on par with what we had before and you, of course, you know, make it make sense so Warden doesn't sound like a 16-year-old, I think it's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure no one's going to have an issue with that. So that was that big drama and that was my opinion on that and my feedback on that. But now we have to get into a little thing that I want to say personally. Now, I know a lot of people are pissed off about these changes and rightfully so, like I said, it's worse than before, all of that, so you have a right to be like, what the hell is this? Why is this a thing? No one asked for this change. Can we just have the old voices back? Can we not stop screwing with stuff that no one had a problem with? Fully get that, no problem from me there. But Eric Pope, uh, the community developer, he put up a post recently saying basically that they understand that, you know, everyone's pissed off about the new changes. He gave an explanation on why, all of that stuff we've already covered. But he also said, and I believe him on this because I've seen some of it, but Eric Pope also said that lots of people are sending personal threats and attacks towards Roman because he came on the den last night and he tried to obviously give us all this information on why they made the change. Now, I've never understood attacking developers personally on a personal level, sending them threats, that sort of stuff. I've never really understood that. Now, if a developer says something dumb, all right, you can sit there and be like, that's dumb. This guy's an idiot. That's fine, okay? There's no problem there if you disagree with what someone's saying, okay? You can disagree. That's why we all have freedom of speech. But in the same breath, going ahead and threatening developers, calling them like, you know, just devolving into a shitstorm, saying they're the worst pieces of shit, human slime on the planet, all this sort of crap over a change in a game. I've never understood that. And quite frankly, to me, it's pretty freaking stupid. You can be angry at the change. You can be angry at them for making the change. You can be angry at the the fact that, you know, they don't care about certain things. That's fine. We've all paid money for this. We're all invested in the game. It's it, Emotions run high when you love and you care about something. That's just the way it works. But taking that extra step to uh, threaten someone, threaten someone's family, threaten someone personally, and just go that direction, especially over the internet, is frankly stupid and it also makes you look like a fucking moron because once again, it's over the internet. Why are you threatening some guy that you're probably most likely 100% never gonna meet? Especially over a change they made to a video game. So if I can make one point here is, first of all, do not threaten Roman. Do not threaten Pope. Do not threaten Damien. Stefan, any of the developers, don't threaten them. There's no point. There is literally no point. As well as that, if you do not like the voice changes, which I know pretty much 90% of the community from what I've seen so far doesn't, and rightfully so because of the stuff we said before, tell them why. Exactly like I said, say, the quality is bad. We like that you want to put more of this in the game. We like that you want to put more interactions, but the quality of the interactions and everything needs to be like it was before. Actually tell them in a constructive way why you think the change is bad and what you would actually change with it. Don't just go, hey, Roman, you're a fucking cocksucker for putting this in and I'm going to murder your kids. Okay, that's don't do that. There's no need for that. Sit down, compose your thoughts and type up a reasonable response as to why you dislike the changes and write up a reasonable response onto what you would like to see changed. And once again, I'm not saying don't be angry about the change. Be pissed off about the change if you don't like it. That's fine. Just don't go threatening people and just tell them in a reasonable manner why you don't like the change and what you want fixed. And then hopefully they will listen and then they will, you know, cha make changes accordingly and so on and so forth. The devs so far have proven, okay, not shown, they have proven that they listen to the community, they put in stuff that we asked for and they are good on that front. Up until this point, they have earned the benefit of the doubt. Uh, no for a fact that if everyone overwhelmingly doesn't like this system, everyone overwhelmingly doesn't like these voices, they will do something to rectify. And if they don't, then everyone has a right to, once again, be angry, but not threaten them. And then we can try and talk to them and work it out from there. But yes, this Warriors Den recap was a bit of a Ravens ramble because I had to touch on that point because it's a very serious one. And like I said, these guys are making this game. Yes, it's their job and everything, but coming from someone who works in security, okay, and I get abused on a daily basis. I get people threatening me in face-to-face, -face, like with weapons. I get people fucking trying to hurt me. People call me all manner of shit, all that sort of stuff on a daily basis and it's all face to face it's not over the internet i'm used to it i can handle it i've been doing this for seven years but most people don't go to work to be abused and threatened with me it comes with a job there's no way around that but with these guys they just want to make video games okay they want to sit there and be threatened because they made a change in the game that people don't like so just keep that in mind and yeah remember you can download marching fire let's, let's get back to something positive you can download marching fire it's great uh pc you play go ahead try it out it's only for a few more days so make sure you get in there and try it 
that out. And yeah, don't be dicks to developers in terms of threatening them. That's pretty much the message of this Warriors Den. But that is the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love reading and replying to all your comments down below. And feel free to check out my Discord and Twitter. There is a link down below in the description box for both of those as well. The Discord is a great way for me to talk to you guys outside the YouTube comment section. And of course, the Twitter is a great way for you guys to get a notification whenever a video is being uploaded because YouTube is a bit weird sometimes. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support the channel further, feel free to check out my Patreon. There'll be a link down below in the description box and a link will pop up at the end of the video. And if you choose to donate, it is greatly appreciated. And a big shout out to my current Patreon whose names you've been seeing in the background. Just wanted to say thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And please share this video around. It does help me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.